What is going on everyone? It's Kelly here and right now we are in Venice, Louisiana. We are staying at the Fish Intimidator Lodge. They have a beautiful lodge and honestly, I think it's the best lodge here in Venice. <laughs> they just built this amazing, beautiful new building that you can hang out. There's a bar, there's pool table activities, everything in that building. We slayed the sheep head, we caught redfish, and as well as a little surprise fish, it's a little uh, Heinz grouper that catfish caught, so that's super cool. Um, but right now, we're headed back out on the boat and we're gonna go hunt nutria rats. Never thought in a million years I'd be hunting a nutria rat. I didn't even know what one was until a couple months ago. <laughs> but apparently they are very bad for the environment here. Um, I'm not sure if they're invasive or not. They might be, I'm not sure. But we're gonna go hunt them. Apparently they taste really good. But I do know they're really cute. <laughs> Our friend Bailey has a pet baby nutria rat and now I'm like, now I want one. <laughs> But we're gonna go ahead and do that. This video is gonna be a split video. I'm going to end the video when we go back to Stewart and we do our little mailbox Mondays. And we're gonna go ahead and open all the fan mail from you guys that we received in the first three weeks of us announcing on the channel. Um, if you guys haven't heard of it before, we're doing something called Mailbox Mondays where we post a video on a Monday, probably about once a month. And we'll open up whatever you guys send us, whether it's fan mail, products you want us to try, anything you want. Um, there's a P.O. box address in the description below. So, right now, let's get back on the boat and go hunt some nutrient rats. I think you might pop up. Pretty sure you died of the skull. She definitely hit him. <laughs> He's, he can't go nowhere. He's right up there. Keep going. Go yeah, forward. 30 foot straight ahead before you, before you come up. He could have gone back, didn't he? No, no he's, he stayed up. in the water. Right there, Kel. Over him. Or you can go. You get him if he comes back. Right there, get you. He's he's not going nowhere, Kelly. He's good. Can you get on the bank? No, he's right here. He's swimming. He's going to pop up right there. Nope, just put it right here. Push the button. All right, get back up there. That joker was way out here. He can't go nowhere. He, he can't get away from us without us seeing him. He there was a swirl right there. I don't know if that was him. Right there, get him. There he goes. Shot over him. Get you another bullet. Timmy, finish him. All right. I'll shoot him in the body. Let her shoot him in the head when we get up on him. He should be going over water. Yeah. He's day, days, 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 I guess I should say. What the? What the what? What the what the is going on? Well, you gotta just put it right on him. Look straight down that barrel. Right there, babe. Uh, my ears are ringing. There he is, babe. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's, there he is. Get him, Timmy. Get him. <laughs> you got one more, babe. Get ready. He ain't dead yet. He'll be going through the bank somewhere. He's gonna go right. I hear Donald. He's dead. You got him. You, you got, got him. Shot. Get in the net. Hit me the net. Only took a few tries. Hey, that, that's you're shooting with bird shot. That's a big mammal. It's not how you start. It's how you finish. Holy moly! Look at their feet. That's crazy. We should make Juke and Juke. I mix their names. Jake Hold on. And Luke. Let me switch places with you. We should make Jake and Luke little keychains with their feet like they do gators and rabbits. Back scratchers is what I'm thinking. 
You can get the back scratcher. This will be Jake's keychain. This will be Luke's. Oh nice shooting, babe. Thanks. What did Timmy's gun sound like when it went off? Ring. Loud and proud. <laughs> Loud and proud. Loud and proud. Kentucky made. I don't know, but I think I'll eat like filet mignon. <laughs> How do you say it, Cajun? Y'all be throwing those fish away. <laughs> filet eat, eat mignon. <laughs> say it, babe. Filet mignon. Filet mignon. There you go. Backstrap. Adding to the pile. That's like a way off the back. Oh, yeah. You put up a fight. Oh, it moved. He's all right. <laughs> all right, you guys, the sun is going down and we're wrapping up our Nutria rat hunt. We got Captain Ron at the wheel right here and we got some Nutria rats. Catfish shot two. I killed one with Catfish's help and Blue Gabe got one and missed a few. <laughs> all right, you guys, but right now we're headed back to the lodge and Gabe's going to go ahead and cook these up. So be sure to check out his video to see how we cook this large rat. Can you film me and stop eating my shrimp? Babe, you, you got them for me. I actually got them for me. All right, let's go. <laughs> All right, you guys, you ready? We're about to feed some of Blue Gabe's pets. Is it on auto? Yeah, that's good. Exhibit A, we have the eel that Blue Gabe got on the west coast of Florida while grouper fishing. How did you even catch this? It was in a pinfish trap. Oh yeah. Now he's at Blue Gate's house. You ready? Hello, little eel. Do you like some shrimp? He freaks out when he smells it. So I believe they don't have very good eyesight, but their nose is incredible. Look at that. Yum, 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 yum. All right, over here. Now one of my videos on my channel from way back when, it's a spiny lobster catch and cook. Blue Gabe catches this under a bridge. Yeah. I need to clean that tank. Yeah, he makes a mess. He's looking at it. I know you see it. Come on. He's just gonna have to drop it. Let's see. Well, usually it comes up, but he might just. Yeah, no. He... Uh, yeah, you. you... Oh, oh! That was a good comeback, though. That little U turn he made there. Good job. Good job. Proud of you. Proud of you. All right, you guys. So. I want to finish up this video with this little thing that Gabe and I are starting called Mailbox Mondays. Um, we don't really know exactly how we're going to do this yet, so we're just winging it as of now. So far, with the letters that you guys write us, um, we're going to be showing them on the YouTube story. So that's when you click our profile picture, and you click it, and a storyline will pop up of videos or pictures, and it'll be on YouTube for about a week. Now on the iPhone, I know it's our profile picture, and I believe it's the same on a laptop as well. Um, as for packages, which we didn't really expect to get, a, we got a lot more packages than I thought. Um, we got some company with this Japanese barbecue sauce, which I'm super excited to try because I love Japanese sauces mixed with a barbecue sauce. Mm, that's going to be good. I like that little squirt bottle. I didn't even notice that. Oh boy. When we're finished, we're definitely saving these squirt bottles. Reuse, not, re I guess we're recycling because we're using it. So recycle and reusing it. For sure. We got original and gluten free. Oh, sh we got gluten free and original and they're preservative free. Simple ingredients, BPA free. Ooh, I'm excited. And then I had a fan send this chopper here because I always cut myself with the knives. And that is a fact. Pretty much 98% of the time I fillet fish, I cut myself. So he sent me this. So, I mean, I don't know if I can fillet a fish with this, but we're going to try. Now, it's for fruits and vegetables to chop up evenly. Um, so I did get that. Um, Blue Gabe and I, we also got sent a bunch of jigs from Tampa Bay Fishing Channel. I mean, like, way more than we could even use. So we'll probably do a little giveaway with the jigs there. Some fluorocarbon. We got a bunch of hats. Um, I've been talking to this company, One Campfire, for a while now, and they have a really good message that they're trying to send out. They're pretty much trying to unite hunters and non-hunters because there's a lot of controversy. Is that, is that the right word? Controversy? Cons you know what I mean? Anybody Rivalry. that watches me knows I shouldn't be telling people how to say words because <laughs> I can hardly say them. Rivalry? I can't even say words. Controversial. Con yeah, that's the word between hunters and non-hunters. And there's a lot of misunderstood things. So they try to bring people together with that. So 
So be sure to check out One Campfire. Um, any of these links I'll put in the description below. If you guys want to check them out. And this cup, which I am actually very jealous, a super fan of Blue Gabe sent them this cup and she actually has a company. Turn it, let's so we can see the full 360 degree view. And that's a real alligator head. Like, I need to go get one with a shark done for me because this is insane. I mean, it's another cup I gotta clean, but I'm okay with that. But she actually makes these. It's like a little side business or hobby of hers. And it's, it's incredible. She has some amazing work on there. I'll put the Facebook page in the link below. Gabe got himself sent some books um, by someone who's really inspired. They actually wrote these and sent us to them as well. So I'm going to get Blue Gabe, Blue Gabe to start reading some books. <laughs> and this is super handy. A cutting board because we're always out there filleting on our coolers and towels and backs of trucks. So this is super nice. And this is from 13 Chefs. I don't know if that's an Instagram or Facebook or YouTube, but I'll look it up and find out and put it in the description below. But where did the eel go? He got out. <laughs> no, guys, he hides in the sand. So after he gets done eating, he just dis disappears. Oh, there he is. Hello. Yesterday I fed him and he just completely went into the sand. You couldn't even see him. Now he's sticking his little head out. By the way, that fishing hook has been in there for what, how long? A long time. Six months. And it has not, it's barely rusted. Barely. And that's a saltwater tank. Yeah, so. What about these letters though? So we went ahead and opened and read all the letters. And we're gonna do, cause I don't wanna sit here and like read all the letters on a video cause it might be, might be a little monotonous. So each individual person, we're gonna shout out on the YouTube story as I mentioned earlier. Uh, we did not expect so many packages. Uh, you guys are incredible. This was probably the first two weeks we kind of just um, promoted the whole Mailbox Monday on our channel. Like we said, if you guys want to send us any fan mail or any products you want us to try, go ahead and send it to the P.O. Box below. So Blue Gabe had an awesome idea. Last night he actually went ahead and filmed this for his video as well. If you guys have kids, um, five, six, seven, eight, 10, 13, 15, and you want them to write a letter to the kids and they can go back and forth and write each other letters. I mean, nowadays it's all social media and texting. And when I was younger, I loved getting mail. I think it was the most exciting thing in the world when I got a piece of mail with my name on it. Jake was so disappointed when he didn't have I any. No, he, so we were setting all this up last night. He's like, did, did we get any letters? Did we get anything? So we're like, oh boy. So you guys write a letter to Jake and Luke, just a little. Hats or shirts or yeah. anything like that. Any little knickknacks, um, but they love to open mail. There's one more thing I wanted to show. Um, we actually received a lot of books. Um, so I need to start reading more. I have two books I want to read and this one's next in line that someone sent me. The glare was bad. So this is a book someone sent me along with this and I'm super surprised I did not expect this at all, but I just want to show this because it's pretty insane and I absolutely love it. Let me see if I can open it. It's a silver coin and it has a girl on a surfboard with a great white shark. How cool is that? And I'm a fanatic when it comes to like coins and treasure and all that good stuff because that's what my dad loves, so I kind of grew up with it too. I'm gonna sh my dad's going to be jealous of this. <laughs> I'm surprised my dad didn't come up with this one first. But last but not least, speaking of my dad, of course, as soon as we mention Mailbox Mondays, I get a letter from my dad. <laughs> and y'all are about to see his real Photoshop skills from back in the day. So this is a before picture. <laughs> and this is an after picture of me as a little girl at Bathtub Beach in Stewart, Florida. Did you see what I did there? Before and after. I was a mermaid. This is what my childhood looked like. Mine I mean, too. Bathtub Beach was the if y'all if you guys are ever in Florida and Stewart, Bathtub Beach is great for kids. Especially on low tide, all the rocks get exposed and all the fish and crabs they'll get trapped in the rocks and there'll be little pools and you go in there with nets and it's there's it's the best thing in the world. I miss it so much. Technically I still do that for a living, so that works out. 
All right, you guys. So on Monday, I'm going to go ahead and post the letters which, with shouting out individually everyone who sent us letters. But for right now, thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for subscribing, and I'll see you all in the next video. See ya.